So, uh, my name's Elijah. I'm one of the employees here at the Dallas Seminary Bookstore. And today we'll be doing a quick review of this book called A Primer on Postmodernism by Stanley Grintz. So, uh, in this book, it shows the development of what postmodernism is, it shows the history of how it developed, but more particularly, and what I think is special about this book, it not only gives you the technicalities of how it developed, but it, it actually uh, includes quotations from different philosophers of these eras. So in the pre-modern era, in the modern era, and the post-modern era, it goes over the technicalities of what they're saying and their robust philosophies, and it includes quotations from uh, each philosopher that espoused to them. So in this book, it's, it does talk about the history and the projection of what postmodernism is and how it came to be, but more particularly, it talks about the concepts of uh, it. So. There's huge sections that deal with language, huge sections that deal with truth, huge sections that deal with uh, history, and how uh, in each of these perspectives, either in a pre-modern, modern, or post-modern perspective, it deals with how philosophers in these times understood and articulated and discovered what the, uh, each of these categories meant and how we come to know these categories. Uh, and to put it simply, postmodernism is a, a belief system, a philosophy that rejects modernity. And in modernity, uh, the belief was that the autonomous self can understand truth by his rationale or empiric uh, empiricism, so the scientific method. But postmodernists say there is no absolute truth, and that truths are determined by the community in which the individual is in. And they talk about how language affects that, how history affects that, how knowledge affects that. And I um, highly recommend this book for uh, uh, getting an in-depth and concise reading. It's going to be a little wordy at times, but definitely worth the read um, if you want to get a deeper grasp of what postmodernism is and how it came to be.